Hi everybody. Um, stand on the 18th green. It is Friday, September the 9th, I think. Um, I'm going to do a course port for September. So, as you can see, a little bit of puddles on the 18th green behind me. Because we've had some rain! Uh, August 12 mil, not a lot again. Bone dry, um, Sahara Desert. But last night, we had uh, a 2022 record for overnight rainfall and it came in at 26.4 mil. That is more than we had in August, July and August in fact. Um, and more than we had in the whole of June. So, big time rain. At last, big time rain. So, that's, that's good news. Um, Heart rate's up this morning though, because we've got to squeeze off a few a few greens, because, and you know, there's a few puddles kicking around on the fairways because the ground's that hard, it's not soaking in yet, but it's a start, it's, it's a massive start. So, really pleased with that. Um, bunker's gonna fluff up nicely now. Um, but on the whole, it's still been pretty dry, obviously, but uh, we've, we've actually had some decent rain, rain that we can actually talk about. Um, so yeah. So we're gonna go through the course report. Uh, we've got a lot on now. Busy, busy time for us. Um, this week alone, we've had two charity days and and the ladies open. So it's been a busy week already. Um, gearing up for a county final at the end of the month. And then we've got maintenance week and we've got all the winter works starting as well. So I'll run you through those. So I hope you enjoyed the report. Um, at the end of it, if you've got any questions, obviously see me out the course, leave in the comments box. And uh, if you haven't done so already, please like and subscribe to the page, the channel. See you in a bit. So the green section for this month's course report. Um, obviously due to the amount of rain that we've had lately, which you know is great. We've, we've really, really needed it. It has, um, has made the greens a little bit more, um, what's the word? Diseasy, if that's the word. Um, we've got some anthracnose kicking about. In, in areas now, um, which is a summer stress sort of related disease. Um, unsurprising, if I'm honest. Still quite humid. Uh, we've got good good growing conditions now, so the greens are growing quite more considerably than what they were, let's put it that way. Um, yeah. On the other hand, it's been nice to have the irrigation off for a week. Um, and as you can see, golf course is starting to look a bit greener which is nice so the rainfall has sort of kicked kicked on a few little issues but on the whole they're still they're not they're not doing too bad the greens um other than I'd say a bit of anthracnose no, kicking about really but um over the next week or so well actually now this morning we're out um vertically draining the greens only lightly although a little bit more aggressive than normal only purely the fact because we've just put a brand new set of tines on so they're a little bit a little bit thicker than, than the last time we did it um, but we're out doing that this morning uh, we'll get some sand on them over the next day or so uh, try and smooth a few of the bumps out uh, I'm, I'm, I'm out spraying this morning actually um, you know a few bit of chemicals and that just to help them through um, obviously mid September ish now um, so we'll be turning our sort of feed programs and that sort of thing to, to the winter months coming up sort of soon uh, once it gets a bit colder it's still quite warm at the minute though we're still knocking sort of mid 20s most days mid early 20s so it's, it's quite nice so uh, and then at the end of the month we've got uh, obviously maintenance week um, delayed heavily this year due to the county final we're hosting on the 24th uh, it was meant to be at the start of the month it's now been pushed back to the end of the month so that will involve uh, coring um, see overseeding, top dressing, etc. Yeah, the usual stuff. But it does need doing. So the greens could really do with it, I think. So on the whole, greens not too bad. A little bit of and fat nose kicking about, as as mentioned. Um, but on the whole, I'm quite happy with the greens for sort of this time of year. All other sections of the golf course, um, like the tees, uh, the approaches, the fairways, semi rough and the rough. Um, are all coming back to life now, uh, which would be nice. We've had a, a very brown year, as you'll know. 
Um, the long grasses have been more like straw, uh, which has been nice to a point. Um, definition wise, they've not been brilliant. Uh, you know, and the golf course now is starting to really look defined with the cut areas uh, regaining their colour. So the golf course looks really nice at the minute, but um, they're all growing now again now. You know, we've been out cutting fairways this week for the first time since club championship, I think, nine weeks, whatever that was. We really just haven't needed to. I've done a few stalks here and there. Um, obviously like tees and that all kicking off, the approaches all green around. So it's like, a, you get it every year, you get this little late boom. Um, you'll also find that some of the rough, especially, turns a little bit orange. Uh, you get on what's called rust. Uh, so your shoes and your trolley wheels and that sort of thing might go a little bit orangey. Um, it's just like a powder that is produced on the leaf um, that, that wipes off when you touch it. Um, again, very natural, very normal. Um, so if you come in and your shoes are a bit orange, that's why, because uh, there's rust about. It's basically where the grass is slowing down but trying to grow at the same time. It's getting a bit weaker, but um, it's all natural. Um, so that happens, but on the whole, you know, the, other than needing mowing now um, for the next probably three, four weeks before the frost kicks in, maybe, you know, getting later and later every year as well. Um, yeah, there will be a little bit of growth kicking about. But, so pan up 18, I'm saying the 17th green, so if you pan up 18, actually looks quite defined again now and actually looks like a golf course, it's nice. So, we're all very busy doing that. Um, mowing now, bums back on seats and making the golf course look presentable, but uh, all normal and all well. So, obviously being mid-September now, we're really starting to think about Winter Works, um, a program that we've undertaken now for the last five winters uh, to make changes to the golf course, uh, improvements to the golf course. Um, and this year's no different. So obviously maintenance we've been pushed back to the end of the month. It's definitely delayed the start of our winter works. Having said that though, we are already in, you know, in progress on one project. So I'll run you through what the plans are this year for uh, the winter works 2022, um, 23. So, um, we, we did have an order for it, but the ground conditions are still very dry, very hard. So we were having to change the order a little slightly. So you may have noticed already that the chipping area uh, is being remodeled. Um, we, before we had quite a, a thin green with two tiers on it. The top tier being arguably too big. Um, so we've decided to flatten the chipping area, make it twice the size. Uh, and, and take that tier out. This is going to be um, miles better for, for pretty much everybody, where arguably it was a little bit too difficult for some with that, with that big tier. The idea of that obviously initially was to recreate every golf shot you get out on a golf course, um, but with everything you do you know, in golf course and life, you learn from it and and we're redoing it. So that's underway. Um, hopefully that won't take long, um, obviously, because when we built it over there, all the drains, all the irrigation, so they're all over there already. So it's just a case of this, just reshaping the green. And then we'll, uh, we'll turf that one this time. Um, so that'll be, that'll be open and ready. Uh, other areas we want to do is uh, the ninth tees, root problems again, same as 14. And we did that last year. So we need to redo those tees because um, it's becoming a bit of a maintenance pain down there um, the seventh back tee uh, many of you would have seen the, the soil placed there last year um, so that will be that will be built over the winter months so it's ready for next season uh, uh, so a black tee on seven um, a little bit of bunker work up on 12 um, around the green especially you know notoriously floody bunkers there they don't match the golf course either in bunkers, so we need to look at that. And and then the last thing we want to do this year is the the ditch on 16. So at the minute we've got a ditch going across the fairway and we've got one by the 70th tee. We're basically going to reduce the ditch going across the 16th fairway and join them up, making it a bit more of a pond. 
and sort out all the unlevel ground that's around the right hand side of that green. So instead of going over something in the fairway, you don't have to anymore. But anything right of the green um, could be a bit wet. So that one's probably a, a little bit more for the, the better golfer, really. Um, obviously those that go for the green more, more often than not. Uh, accuracy will now play a bit more of a part there. And also, uh, we have drains down that area where it takes the, the rainwater out to the, the main ditch on 18 that, are, that have collapsed and blocked. So, you know, when it gets wet down there, the ladies' tea on 17 especially becomes its own little island. So we need to try and sort that out so the water can get away um, it's, you know, when it rains. So that's the winter work programme this year, quite extensive again, um, but obviously all for, all, for, all for the better really. Uh, on the back of winter works, obviously we contacted Kent Golf. Uh, we need the golf course re slope, not been done since 2015, so it's before I started. Um, so they come out last Tuesday and re measured the course on all the changes and things like that and informed them of all the works that's got going on. Uh, the eighth hole being one of them, uh, and they've all gone away and they've uh, not a straightforward process that. They've had to punch it on the computer and it was a bit out of the new course rating and the new slope, so we're, we're still awaiting those results, but that's obviously a a big thing uh, and then I'll quickly touch on the eighth green the green itself has been fine it's been fine all summer but the surrounds was really struggling where it was so dry but we we rotated leveled it all off and overseeded it and uh, there's some green grass popping on it now so it's actually moving on which is good so that's the winter works that's what we've got coming up obviously along with all the other general maintenance stuff we've got a busy, another busy winter ahead so um, let's hope the weather plays ball and, and let's get on with it but uh, any questions about the way it works, obviously speak to myself uh, and I'll gladly run you through it. All right then. So that was September's course report. Um, quite a long one actually this month because there's a lot going on. Um, so I hope you've made it this far in the report and not turned me off now. Um, but packed full of information as always. Um, uh, let's start again, shall we? So that is the end of September's course report. Um, quite a long one this month. Uh, I hope you've made it this far and you haven't turned me off. But um, in summary, we're where we expect to be really. Growth wise, golf wise. Um, yeah, it's, it's normal September stuff. So obviously we've got a lot coming up over the next few months. Like I say, the Win It Works program, there's lots of other little jobs we've got to do as well, like a few repairs to do on paths, uh, mark, painting, all that sort of stuff, the normal boring old droney winter stuff. But um, keeps us busy for the next six months, so hopefully going into next year, we're, we're all good to go. So uh, it's been a tough year. Uh, we've had a lot of issues this year with irrigation, where the system's aging and it's been put under in extreme pressure this year with the, with the summer we've had um, you know and as much as I don't really want a wet winter because I've got stuff to do I do want a wet winter because we're going to be in trouble with water restrictions otherwise if we don't um, it's one of them ones we definitely wish for really isn't it but um, lose lose situation when it comes to that in, in a way but uh, well, yeah we did, we've had so little rain this year it's, it's been it's been a bit weird um, but we got through it uh, and and we, and we move on. So that is the end of the call support for September. Um, you know, as always, I'm always open to speaking to anybody about about stuff, uh, especially when we announce when it works. Some people might have questions uh, of why. Uh, some people might not. Even just in fact, I don't like it. But um, you know, it's, it's something that's been planned, and discussed for committee level for for a few months now. So um, it's, it's, yeah. But if anyone's got any questions, just feel free to come and ask me. I'm always open for a chat with anybody. Um, or leave me in the comments box. Um, that's another good way, of, and I'll, uh, I'll, I'll answer it that way. Um, so, yeah. So, thanks for listening to this one's course call. Um, I hope you can hear me a bit better. I did buy a microphone for my phone. But when I do these videos, you don't get that shh with the wind that we get some months. But um, when it turned up, it didn't fit. So, my fault, I suppose. But I'll try and get one for next month. But hopefully this month's not been too bad. It's not actually that windy this morning. So you should be able to hear me. But um, if you haven't done so already, please like and subscribe to the page. Uh, tell your friends. 
particularly family members, other golf club members, uh, not just the Sheerness anyway really. Uh, more people can see this, uh, the better for, obviously for us and then, you know, general golf course. Uh, bring people around the world really. So, um, yeah, all good. Uh, and I'll hope to see you, will be next month's golf ball. So, cheers, bye.